Hello friends. Welcome to our channel Instrument Calibration. In previous video, you have learned about thermocouple temperature transmitter calibration. If you are new on this channel, and if you have missed that video, you can find link in the description box. And if you do not want to miss any informative video in future, then please subscribe this channel, and press bell icon to get notification when we post new video on the channel. In this video, you will learn What is thermocouple cold junction? And what is thermocouple cold junction compensation? And lastly, what is thermocouple loop resistance? First of all, let's learn what is thermocouple cold junction. As you can see from the diagram, a thermocouple has two junctions. And the difference in temperature of these junctions is what is used to measure temperature. In thermocouple, one junction is known as hot junction, which is inserted in the process whose temperature need to be measured. And other junction is known as cold junction, which is also known as the reference junction. Basically, cold junction is the termination point outside of the process, where the temperature is known, and where the voltage is being measured. Ideally, the cold junction is located in a transmitter or signal conditioner. Now, let's learn, what is thermocouple cold junction compensation? As we know, a voltage measured at cold junction directly affects the temperature difference between the hot and cold junction. And therefore, the temperature at cold junction should be known for the hot junction's temperature to be accurately determined. And the process to determine exact cold junction temperature is known as cold junction compensation. Basically, cold junction compensation can be performed by either the temperature transmitter, thermocouple input cards for a DCS or PLC, alarm trips, or other signal conditioner. And ideally the cold junction compensation measurement should be performed as close to the measurement point as possible. Because long thermocouple wires are susceptible to electrical noise and signal degradation. In this part of video, I am going to explain. What is thermocouple loop resistance? Loop resistance is the total resistance of the control loop of a thermocouple. To ensure that we don't have excessive loop resistance, it is important practice to keep the thermocouple wire length at 100 feet maximum, and to use bigger gauge thermocouple wire in most industrial applications. For example, it is recommended to use 20 AWG or bigger gauge wire. In addition to this, it is also recommended to keep the total loop resistance below 100 ohm. Since electromagnetic interference will introduce electrical noise into the temperature measurement setup of the thermocouple. It is highly recommended to use thermocouple wire in the area, which is free from electromagnetic interference. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you like this video. If you have any questions about this video, please ask your questions in comment box. And if you think our content is informative for you, then please like and share this video with your friends.